If you suspect a short circuit in your house wiring, there are several steps to take. The first thing to do is turn off all electrical appliances in the house, and then check each circuit breaker to see if it tripped. If it did, reset the breaker, but if it tripped again, it could be an electrical short in a specific switch. Typically, a tripped breaker means a switch is the culprit, but the breaker will not trip if all switches are off. If you notice that one of the circuits is shorted, use an multimeter to confirm the voltage. If the resistance readings are less than expected, the short may have occurred. If current is flowing away from the area, call a licensed electrician to perform the work. Otherwise, you may want to call a professional electrician. Then, you'll have a better idea of how to fix a short. Once you've located the problem circuit, you'll need to isolate the short. In the electrical panel, each outlet receives power from a breaker and has outlets on the same circuit. The same breaker can serve multiple outlets on the same wall, or a different wall could contain devices that belong to a different circuit. By identifying the circuit that is affected, you can determine which breaker needs to be turned off. This can prevent an electrical shock and unnecessary waste of fuses. If you don't hear a beep, it means that no power is flowing through the wire. Otherwise, the wire is a short circuit. The smaller number of beeps indicates a short circuit. Remember that electrical work is extremely dangerous, so make sure you do it correctly. Keep a distance from electricity. If you're unsure, seek professional help. This way, you'll know whether the wiring is safe. To determine whether you're experiencing a short circuit in your home, check each circuit. An electrical short occurs when the hot wire touches another wire. When this happens, an extra current is forced through the circuit, which causes a blown fuse. Other causes of short circuits include cords, switches, overloads, or faulty wiring. Once you've identified the problem, you can then determine how to fix it. If you suspect that your home wiring may be the cause of the problem, check your neighbor's electrical systems to see if they're experiencing the same problem. They might be able to provide you with a clue. In the meantime, make sure you check other areas of the home. If the problem persists, Check the electrical wiring in other rooms of the home to ensure the system is working properly. The electrical system delivers electricity throughout the house, and a short circuit, overloaded circuits, or loose wiring can all be signs of a problem. To fix a short, if you can't access the circuit panel, use a circuit tracer. These tools are small handheld tools that are designed to find electrical shorts. You can also buy a circuit tracer that will help you find the short even if the problem is behind a wall. To find electrical shorts in your house wiring, you can watch the Spark Channel's video demonstration. Once you have the circuit tracer, turn off the primary breaker on your breaker panel and remove the shorted wire from an outlet. You can then return the shorted wire to its original place. To find electrical shorts, check if continuity can be seen on a multimeter. If it does, then you've found a problem. It could be a faulty switch or receptacle or a faulty wire. If the meter reads OL, then the circuit is shorted. Otherwise, check the other circuits in the home. If you're unable to test one circuit, check the other circuits until you're satisfied that the fault is in another area. A good quality electrical service panel is essential to prevent electrical problems. The wiring on a property should be sturdy enough to accommodate all outlets, so a tripped circuit is a sign of a short somewhere in the home. 
If you suspect that something is not plugged in properly, you can upgrade your electrical service panel. You can even try unplugging some appliances to see if it fixes the problem.